Green hair in summer is no joke. It's not fun, especially when you have that bright, pretty blonde hair and you get out and you go, how in the world did my hair just turn green? I'm gonna tell you why it happens and it's gonna give you a little bit of an idea of how to avoid it. And don't you worry, I wanna make sure I give you all the ways you can remove the green hair out of your hair at the end, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, why is it turning green? Did you know the minerals in pool water, it doesn't matter if it's chlorine or even salt water, it can still happen because water is what's holding those minerals, which most of the time it is copper in water that oxidizes and turns the hair green. Yes, it can happen on darker or brown hair, but since it is darker, you do not see that green tint in it. And that's why most of the time you see it in blondes. But that oxidizes. Think of the Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty is copper, but with all the elements and it being exposed to all the salt water from the ocean, it has turned green. So exactly the same thing happens to your hair if you are blonde. I always like to prevent things before they happen. It's a lot easier to prevent it and it's less of a hassle to remove it if you just avoid it from the very start. I suggest getting your hair wet. You see those little signs at the pool and it says, hey, before you get in, get yourself all wet or take a shower before you get in. That is also going to help your hair avoid soaking up or absorbing that copper into your hair. So if you get it wet and water is already in that cuticle, chances are it's not going to absorb the copper. Sometimes water isn't enough, so then I also suggest using a leave-in conditioner. So spraying that on your hair before you get into the water, this is going to be in your cuticle, so that copper is not going to be in your hair. Again, if it's your own pool, you may not want leave-in conditioner in your hair. So you can also do an apple cider vinegar rinse, if you will, on your hair before you get in. This is going to close that cuticle, seal that cuticle in, so then it's not open and ready to absorb that copper, so then your hair doesn't turn green. Okay, so what if you didn't do those things, is there still ways that you can prevent it from turning green after you get out of the pool? Absolutely, wash and shampoo your hair right after you get out of that water so it's not sitting, the chlorine, the minerals, the copper is not sitting on your hair so your hair is not turning green. We know most of the time we see those super pretty blonde younger girls or boys and most of the time they're not gonna wanna shower or shampoo their hair right after they get out of the shower but if it's for you and you're an adult, that will help avoid those minerals sitting on your hair and your hair turning green. Another super easy, maybe not so cute way to do it is wear a swim cap. Obviously this is not a swim cap, it's the only thing that I had, but wearing a swim cap, keeping all that hair inside that cap, it's not gonna be exposed to the water, so you can also wear a very cute swim cap in the pool if you plan on getting wet. All right, you spent a week just living your best life, swimming every single day. You did all the steps I told you before and they didn't work, or you just didn't take the time to do those. Now it's green. Oh no, that blonde hair you paid a lot of money for is green. What are we gonna do? You can use a clarifying shampoo to help remove that chlorine out of your hair. This is great, it opens up the cuticle, it kind of removes all the impurities. I will say you may have to use this more than one time because sometimes it's not strong enough to pull all of that copper that has oxidized in your hair out. Another thing you can do if say you're on vacation and you're like, I'm not gonna go buy clarifying shampoo. Most of the time everybody has baking soda or apple cider vinegar and you can use that to strip out that chlorine on your hair. I will tell you while you're using it, you're gonna notice when you're kind of removing that kind of green out of your hair, your hair is gonna feel a little slimy. That is all of that chlorine, if you will, or the copper that is coming out of your hair and it's gonna be a little slimy. Again, baking soda, you're gonna make it into a paste. So you're gonna pour a little bit into a bowl, 
add a tiny bit of water, mix it up so it's kind of a paste feel, and then you're gonna dunk those ends, most of the time it's on your ends, into that mixture and really kind of rub it in and let it sit on. Rinse it out, look at the hair. You may need to do it again for either of these to really kind of remove it completely out of your hair. There is a really great company called Malibu. You can see it right here. And they have tiny little packets similar to these ones. They have a packet, I'll pop it up on the screen right here, that way you guys can see what that particular one looks like but it has these crystals or kind of like a powdery form inside the packet. You're gonna get your palm wet and make sure your hair is wet and you're gonna kind of sprinkle it onto your hand and just scrunch it into your hair, rub it in very similar to the baking soda, kind of making it a paste and you wanna leave it on five minutes and just kind of rub your hands over the top of it. It's going to really kind of remove that chlorine out of your hair, the minerals, any of the chemicals that are still on your hair that has turned your hair green. Again, this is kind of more of like a heavy hitter that you're going to use on your hair that is really going to kind of strip all of that out of your hair. You will wanna make sure you rinse it really well and also shampoo and condition and rinse really well. Again, you wanna get all those crystals out of your hair so you're not leaving it on your hair and causing damage because it is drying because it's stripping all of that bad stuff out of your hair hair. I'm hoping you're feeling super confident and summer is technically officially here. We are in June and this is going to help you avoid green hair on yourself, your kiddos, your husband, whoever is that super pretty blonde in your household. I really hope this helps kind of those tears from happening because we all know, I've seen it before, when kids come in and they're really sad that their hair is green, do not fret. All of these tips and tricks I told you today will help either prevent or remove that green out of your hair. As always, I'm all over on social media, so please do not hesitate to reach out to me if you have any questions. As always, there is a comment box down below. You can leave any questions you have there. I do also add in my description, so make sure you hit kind of that little down arrow if you want any of these products that I talked about today. Super easy way for you to find them and click the link to be able to purchase them if you want. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and you know what? We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.